What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2009 Chrysler 300 here. I'm gonna use this car to show you how to change your high beam and your low beam bulb. And I do wanna mention as well, there are no fuses or relays for the headlights. It's powered directly by your integrated power module. So you can see here, I've got my arm kind of looped in through the side, getting at the high beam. You can just grab the entire assembly and rotate it counterclockwise, and it will come right out. When you install your new bulb, please take care not to touch the glass. You just pop it in there and rotate it back to where it was. As far as disconnecting it, you can see these little plastic tabs. You just pry them up and away from the bulb and it will pop right out. Do take care to inspect the pins. Make sure they're not corroded or burnt out. I have seen many times where the bulb itself will be okay. Sometimes even the bulb is new, but it made a bad connection at the pins, which caused them to burn out. And if that's what happened to you, you may need a new pigtail. Now, this one is easy to get to from just the top. However, the low beam on the passenger side, as well as both of the beams on the driver's side, you can't really get to from the top. Um, what you'll have to do in that instance, get at it from the side. There's this cover here, which you can remove the little tabs. There's another one up in here that eludes a lot of people. And once you get it pushed over, it's pretty much a straight shot to there. So um, on the driver's side, I'll use my right arm to get it in there. And you can see my right arm comes all the way up through here. So it's definitely possible to reach, reach in there and get at it. Here's, you can see the uh, low beam bulb. So yeah, low beam is a 9006, high beam is a 9005. I hope this info was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice for troubleshooting the headlights on your Chrysler 300.